You gotta love the person in chat who just straight up says 69. That's it. Nothing else. I have very, very small memories of flipping through the channels. I have small memories of flipping through channels and seeing, like, the cartoon Dragon Ball on TV. But I didn't know what it was. It was so dumb, man. Those are the moments in life where if I would have just stopped and watched for, like, ten minutes. But I liked Beast Wars. I liked Beast Wars, so... I didn't look... I didn't like Reboot. I mean, I guess I can say I didn't... I didn't dislike it, I just wasn't interested in it. Reboot the YTV show, yeah. My... My... Childhood best friend was super into Reboot. He liked it, but I didn't care for it. I liked Beast Wars. I liked Beast Wars, and I liked Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Love Mysteries. I've got a soft spot for, like, thriller mystery movies, you know? Not M, M. Night Shalam's movies. Like, real mystery movies. Like... There's a few Keanu Reeves movies where he's just a lawyer and the entire movie takes place, like, in the courtroom. Like, I like those kind of mystery movies, too, because it's, like, trying to get to the bottom and, like, what is... <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. You hate Scooby-Doo? Devil's Advocate is a fantastic movie. I love it. But I just watched another one called, like, Truth or something like that. And, like, I like those movies where they start and they, you have no idea what's true and what's not true. And, like, what what's, you know. Tony J, you mean Tony Jaw? Is that how he spells it? J-A-Y is Tony Jaw. I love Tony Jaw movies. Ong Back and The Protector. These movies are too good, man. Looking dope. I do, I do really like movies where the he hero prevails but also suffers. Because it, like, shows. Gone Girl was good, too. I really like that movie. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be the way it was. You know, what was it, The Hateful Eight? That came out like two years ago. It was very interesting how that movie was gonna turn out. Have I tried playing Ace of Tourney? No, I don't know what that is. Harvey Birdman. That was a... Harvey Birdman is a cartoon, right? That was on Comedy Central when we were in high school. Four Rooms is fun. You love all the Tarantino movies? There's a new Tarantino movie coming out. Donnie Darko was really cool, but I think Donnie Darko was only awesome for me because I was in college and I'm sure I was high off my ass when I watched it and it was all fucked up. Birdman's an old cartoon. Harvey Birdman was a spoof. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even know that. Wow. Harvey Frigman. My ass gets high. Have you not seen Super Fart World? Come on now. Shit's getting weird right now in the gaming. You left high school in 06. I finished high school in 07. I'm going to be turning 31 this year. Did you see? Did I see the thing? You, I don't know. Did you send it to my Discord? Because no, I haven't seen it. And if you've sent it in the past hour, I've definitely not seen it. Ancient? Get out of here, ancient. Yeah, I'm an 88 baby, that's right. Left high school three years ago, whatever. Human nature has this very weird and awkward way of always comparing age 
in some form of like relativity. I always found it so weird. Someone's like, oh, I'm 27, man, I'm getting older. It's like, why are you even talking about it? Like, I don't give a shit about your age or your perception of your own age. We always have this weird way of like, you know, I'm older than you, so you gotta listen to me. Do you guys remember that when you were kids? The older kid always had rain among this, the younger kids in the group of friends. That's how it was, man. That's life. What's it called? The sonorities, right? You know, you'd have a group of friends of like seven people, right? You'd have a seven group of friends and like whoever's older like had like made the rules. <laughs> Yo, Noise Marine, what's up, dude? Welcome back for four months. Good to see you again. Hope all is well. Yeah, whoever's got the bigger penis is in charge. Age is just a number, R. Kelly. Yep. And P is just a substance, right? So, I heard a lot of bad things about the whole R. Kelly thing, but I never watched it. Can you guys summarize it in, like, one sentence for me? Like, the interviews. The new, the new interviews that are going around. Can you guys just give me, like, a quick, like, three-word... Of, like how it is yo orange welcome back with the twitch prime no his new interviews apparently his story <laughs> i get what you guys are saying all right enough said done with that topic it's fucked Doing well, been working a lot lately, not enough time to watch streams. Sad face, man, that sucks, dude, that sucks. Well, thank you so much for continuing supporting me even though sometimes you can't even watch me, man. That's, that's amazing, thank you. Yo, Orange, what's up, dude? All right, guys, I told you just to summarize it quick. We don't have to talk about it anymore, it's all good. We don't have to have a debate about serial peers. Yo, upgrade to tier three, thank you. It's all good, man, it's all good. Joey Salads, oh my god. Isn't, okay, isn't Joey Salads the dude who made fake hate crimes and tried to spread controversy on YouTube with his videos, but it, all his hate crimes were fake? Like, didn't, didn't he put a car in a bad neighborhood and it wasn't even, and he was the one who, like, destroyed it but said it was, like, hate crimes? Oh my god, so stupid. Who does that stuff? I mean, he probably made thousands of dollars off the video, so I mean, un un you know, unfortunately, it works. Stupid Americans. True, but here's the thing. You got some crazy million slash billion dollar corporations doing some really shady shit. That is so shady and so deep in the company, you'd never know what it is. And then you got some guy making a fake hate crime, putting it on YouTube, trying to get some bucks here. Just doing some simple trickery and fooling people. Who's the criminals? I'll tell you who. Both of them. <laughs> you guys remember the South Park episode? With the amusement park and the guy who owns the amusement park, his name's PP. Pee -pee. With the PP, with the PP. And then everyone starts peeing on the monkeys, and they're like, Yes, the, the pee fuels rage. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> they're saying that pee contains a rage virus, and they tested it by peeing on a monkey, and when the monkey got pissed that it was getting peed on, <laughs> it started getting... Oh god, it's 99% pee. Uh. 
Oh, that's so jokes, man. I love South Park. It's so stupid. Yo, Gregory, what's up, man? I love stupid humor because it just makes you think these, you know, it's just ridiculous. I love that kind of humor. Just absolutely ridiculous. I don't like Three Stooges ridiculous humor. I like, you know, other... For the most part, links are okay, yeah. Three Stooges is way too corny, yeah. Three Stooges are awesome. Nyak, 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 nyak. Okay, how would you guys spell the sound of smacking your lips? Like, how would you spell that? I couldn't figure it out. I would have no idea. <laughs> Everyone's is different. I love that. <laughs> nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. Dude, nobody knows how to spell it. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, is it an S or is it a P? Like... <laughs> it's very hard. I have no idea. I love fish sticks, man. All the time. I like them in my mouth. I like to taste them. Very tasty. Sometimes I like them deep fried too. Breaded. Ooh. <laughs> Love fish sticks. No, fish sticks. <laughs> yeah, I love fish strips. Why do I have two mushrooms? What? <laughs> Jimmy, look up! This is a black widow spider! Is that King Humpty on the throne? No, that's Mario. Remember how Mario 3 is a play? Well, the Mario I'm controlling is not actually Mario. The king in the Mario's chair, which is a representation of Japan, World 3, the castle is on a landmass that represents Japan, if you guys didn't know that in Mario 3. So the king of World 3 is the king of Japan, which is Mario. I mean, Mario's not actually the king of Japan, but you know, you get the reference. I don't gotta spell it out for you. So no, it's Mario. And it, Mario has the same colors as the Mario from Mario 1. You gotta love the person in chat who just straight up says 69, that's it. Nothing else. It's the canoe from the movie. In my ROM hack, in my Mario 3 ROM hack, I souped up the canoe's um, engine. Pretty dope. You have to use the canoe in my ROM hack. In, in World 3, there's a canoe, and I, I put it in my ROM hack to be used, but 
I souped it up. Yeah, I souped it up, man. It's got a new engine, new motor. See, look, it's Mario. It goes to 11. Crank it up, baby! <laughs> Actually, in NES terms, it... It goes about a two now. <laughs> you could change the kings of each castle into sprites of Pooh, Barb, Carl, and Panga. Now, why the heck would I do that? Is it gonna be another 60 level hack? I don't think so, no. I'm gonna replace all the king sprites with me. So I get to be all the kings. Aha! I'm not, I'm not gonna replace the kings. I don't know what happened there. Do you guys remember the- uh, Kerbo, do you remember the direction the cloud- or the P-Wing faces in this world? I don't know how I made that mistake. It's not normally the thwomp that you take damage on. It felt like my screen, like... Yeah, so this is the P-Wing right here then. Good, good. Yo, Mikey, what's up, man? Oh, of course, dude. He needs to move his candy ass down. Come on, move down. Just do it. Alrighty then. Yeah, I just, like, won the lottery. Right on. Hi, friends. Happy Tuesday. I don't think your bits did anything. Damn it, man. If I didn't lose my fire flower there, this would have been a really good world. Ugh. A really big world. How many tasks do I have? It's like five or something. I don't regret any of my tattoos. I just wish my test chest, my test, my chest tattoos were a little smaller. Oh, Bowtie, thank you. Yeah, I just wish these guys were a little bit smaller. Oh my glibs, man.
I like all my tattoos. Especially my... My chesticles. But a chest tattoo is fine, honestly. Because, like, it's a chest. Half of you guys didn't even know I had a tattoo on my chest until I wear, like, tank tops and stuff. So, like, it's silly to be embarrassed about a chest tattoo. I mean, whatever. Half the time, you guys don't even see it. They're personal tattoos. Arms are ones that you have to worry about, I guess. If you're someone who worries. Me, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, man. It's cringy sounds I'm making. Yeah, I don't really care. I don't really care how people judge my body, to be honest. I care about how I judge it. Done with my genus. Okay, if I'm like doing a girl from behind and I look at her ass and it says Troy, yeah, okay. You should be ashamed of that. But that's not happening. I didn't say penis, I said genus. <laughs> My bad, it's okay. Your tattoo says exit only? Ew. People judge your body all the time. You can tell them the head but a knife. You know? Uh, Speeding Productions, what's up, man? What if the tattoo says, I'm boy? I don't even know what that means. Like, you're specifying your gender to someone? I almost died like six times. It says wow, I get it. That's fucked. But like, that's kind of funny at the same time. W on both ass cheeks and it spells wow. Oh my god, I just went through that brick! Did you guys see that? That was dope. You never been to one of my streams before? Now you have. What's going on? Right now we're talking about questionable tattoo locations and the tattoo itself. All right, guys, left, left, or right, right, right. Go right, 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 right. Make it go right. Ah, damn it. Yo, Frigbian, what's going on? I do not like the wow ass tattoo. I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't think you should use any of your orifices on your body to spell anything with tattoos. That's like just your opinion, man. You just, you don't get it, man. You're part of the corporate system, dude. <laughs> it's like if I put a W here and a W here and I'd... Why I would just say, wow, this is so stupid. Where was that meme from? I don't know. I was just acting like a... Hippie stoner. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know if you guys know Glitch Cat, but is Glitch, is Glitch Cat a hippie? I can't tell, man. 
I've been trying. I'm thinking about it lately. Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm trying to figure out. I fuck. I love Glitch Cat. He's the best. <laughs> totally. Probably. Basically. No, it's not. I don't think it's bad. I'm n no, I'm not a hippie. Damn hippies! Did you be like Cartman and lock him in my basement? He's like, he's like, here's some weed and, and a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I could have killed him. Carbon just throws a bunch of joints and a guitar at them. Damn, that 12 seconds was from the extra hammer, brother, sadly. But we can save that back in World 6. The only way to get rid of all the hippies is we have to go up on the stage and play the Slayer CD. Believe it or not, you have to you have to respect hick hippies at some form of level with their independent and um, their mat their massive depth of thought, right? Like hanging out with Glitch Cat in person, like um, you can you can have a, a spiritual like experienced conversation with someone like him because he uses you like what? Actually, no, that's fine. For a second, I was like scared. Desert bus is in the sub goal. Change? Can I get some change? I love when uh, Kyle's dad gives all of his change away and then he needs some back. Oh god, he's been infected. Yo, Winter Soldier, what's up, dude? Wee! What about gospel metal, like Lamb of God? Religious metal? Come on, man, stop! Thank you. So yeah, I just have to yell at them. Job well done, Mitch. <laughs> I was just like so mad yelling at them. Thank you. New strat yelling. Tell about Creed. I heard one guitar riff on the radio the other day. I was like, this sounds like a U2 song. Guess what it was? What the fuck, man? Such a dumb way to die. Hitting the wrong block. How did he get soft lock? Oh, he didn't have a power-up, but he couldn't kill Bowser because of, like, Boss Bass and, like, L Lactu. You two may be shit people. I got some good tunes. Dude, that sounds awful. Yo, Medi Geek, what's up? Yeah, you know, I'd rather the I'd rather the crowd control move on to like different games and experience different avenues than try and pretend like they're making Mario Three better. It's Mario Three is not very good with crowd control, especially having to do emulator. But I don't blame the crowd control guys because they want to do different things. Like, fuck Mario 3, man. Yeah, Mario 3's got some good options for crowd control. That's for sure, easies.
That's for shoysies. Crowd control gets boring real quick. That's just like your opinion, bro, you know? It's, you know, man, it's just like those thoughts are your own, you know? Just like not somebody else's. <laughs> right on, Cobra. Pokemon crowd control is pretty cool. Didn't Barb do Dark Souls crowd control? That was Red Bull. I gotta stretch, but I have to do it off camera so you guys don't think I'm stretching on camera. Dude, tier three for 15 months, man. I really appreciate that. Did I empty out the Mega Pack of Red Bull? Nope, because I got another shipment of four cases of Red Bull. So I've got like close to 100 Red Bulls in my house right now. Uh, crowd control is a crowd-funded um, online ability to play with the streamer in the game that they're playing. So, like, I'm playing Mario 3. With crowd control, if you downloaded the uh, the extension, you would be able to give me a mushroom right now for, like, 500 bits. It's an interactive... Um, it's an interactive way of controlling my game. Well, so it's, like, kind of playing with me a little bit. But... I have to actually be doing a crowd control. Don't get 500 bits and then try and give me a mushroom. That's not going to work. 100, no, 100 Red Bulls, not 100 cases. You guys would be able to give me the hammer suit at the end of the run, that's right. Still enough to fly to the moon. Oh, it gives me wings alright. Giving them cabinets some MFP love. Yo, thank you, Winter Soldier. Yeah, man. Let's give um Let's go put some food in my cabinets, thank you. Uh you can't get early hammer in this category. I mean, you can, but it's not going to do anything. I have to get this first try. You didn't realize? It's okay. Oh, look at that frog fill up with water. So cool. Last night was casually first try. Am I done with Grand Pooh World? I mean, I'm not really done with any game. My knowledge of the game is still there. If I ever want to come back to it, I can play it. I'm just uh, doing this now. Everyone keeps asking me that. Like, that's not that's never even really the case in speedrunning for streamers. I've never heard an actual streamer be like, I'm forever done with this game and never playing it again. But it's like, it's such a common question I'm being asked. Like, when I was playing Grand Pooh World 2... Everyone was like, Mitch, are you done with Mario 3? Are you done with Mario 3? It's just like, I'm just, I'm just not playing Mario 3 right now. But I don't know any speedrunner who has ever been like, I'm done forever with this game. But I get it. I get why you're asking. I mean, it makes sense. Am I done with Odyssey? Dude, I watched the 59-minute run last night. Makes me want to play it. Forever. 
I mean, if you were to ask me, yeah, there are some games that I'm actually done with. I've just, you know, never outright said it. You think Darby has sort of quit? Uh, I feel like he's quit streaming. Yo, Cobra with the tier one. Thank you, man. Welcome. Welcome to the family, man. I played Mega Man 11, yeah. That game's fun. I might be able to world record in this run. I might be able to. I can save like 20 something seconds if I get no hands and then if I have super crispy worlds, I might be able to secure an additional like seven or eight seconds. We'll see. Don't go losing your sub, guys. Come on, you gotta find it. Go look for it. No, it's a soldier to Frig 3. Thank you, man. Oh my god, 409, dude. That's insane. Thank you. Uh, now, I will say that's over the course of like two years as well, though. But damn, dude, thank you. See, true supporters, man. This is why I continue to do what I do. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. I, I really wouldn't. So, thank you. I mean, I would still do this, but I would just slowly and slowly and slowly go bankrupt. But I'd have my Mario 3 records, right? Uh, yeah, can I pay my debt with um, showing you my YouTube video of Mario 3? It really worth a lot to me. <laughs> The chance of getting no hands is 12.5. You bet I'm 27, I am 30 years old. Close. Can I pay, can I do three warpless runs for you for first and last, please? That's all I got, man. Yeah, get your MFP praise out, guys. You gotta pray, man. MFP pray. Pray for the no hands. Come on, guys. I know you guys can. I'm watching you guys. I got all the time right now to watch and judge. Yeah, there we go. Get the praise. Pray for me, guys. Do it. Nailed him. You're of the Dragon 1988. That's right. I'm also technically a Scorpio, if that's your thing. That's what you're into.
I won't reset. I'll continue the run. If I get hands. You guys prayed for me. Thank you, guys. Why aren't they hitting it? This is so weird. Uh, about 20 seconds. So I have to do something very difficult. I have to do something very difficult in Bowser's Castle to save some more time. I got no hands yet. Uh, somebody, uh, Kerbo, you, you might be able to do this easy. Check and see what, what A press on Bowser's Castle is. Why does it keep doing that? Stop, man. What are you doing? I'm holding right. Can somebody clip that at the end of the fortress there? 4453 was A-Press on Bowser's Castle. Okay. I keep fucking bumping on the overworld map. When I finished that castle, was I holding like up and down or something? Like, whenever you beat a level, all you have to do is hold the direction you want to go after you beat the level, and you'll instantly move, so there's no excuse why I'm bumping on the overworld map. If somebody could look for me, that would be fantastic. Because it's happened three times in this world, but it hasn't happened once at all. Like, am I am I holding up by at like this on the input display? Am I doing that when I exit? I don't think I am. I'm holding this. It's so weird. Big time losses, man. Big time losses because of that. What was it? 44 what? Forty-four fifty-three. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right. Still got a second try, it was pretty good.
Right on. <laughs> Woo! Two days! Two days back. Right on. GG. <laughs> Look at the time losses. That's so awesome. Thanks, guys. What did I do in Bowser's Castle? How did I save? Or maybe I messed up. I entered Bowser's Castle later, though. Thank you, guys. I didn't even know I fire killed. I didn't even know I fire killed. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yo, thank you guys for the bits and the don't and the the subs, man. I really appreciate that. I didn't even know I fire killed. I didn't have to do the clip. Whew, I did not have to do the clip.